Hello, my name is Greg, and today I'm going to give you my early bird best pitcher predictions. These are going to be ranked in order from most likely to get nominated, not most likely to win. So let's get started. So my number one movie is going to be Oppenheimer. This movie will earn rave reviews from both critics and audiences had outstanding box office returns, the fifth highest grossing movie of the year, the highest grossing R-rated movie of the year. This is going to be a movie that's going to be competitive in pretty much every single category you can think of, directing, writing, acting, editing, score, sound, production design. And I also really like it because it has that importance factor to it. This is a movie about the building of the atomic bomb, um, my number two is going to be Killers of the Flower Moon. This movie premiered at the Cannes Film Festival back in May, and the reception couldn't have been better. People absolutely loved this movie. They loved the performances. They, they loved the directing, the writing. And... Um, it also has that sort of importance factor to it, right? This movie is about the Osage murders that occurred in 1920s Oklahoma. Uh, very much about uh, Native American rights um, being taken away and exploited. I think that's going to resonate with the Academy. My number three is going to be Poor Things. This movie won the Golden Lion at the Venice Film Festival. That is their top prize. This is a movie that's getting near perfect reception. Um, Ron Tomatoes has it at 98%. The Critics' Choice Association has it at 100 out of 100. And I think that it's also a movie that it's going to get competitive in both the major categories and in the technical categories. My number four is going to be Barbie. This movie is the highest grossing movie of the year so far. It's become a cultural phenomenon. Um, and the message, and also has that important message about female empowerment. It's about gender in our society. All the things that are deemed as important. Um, number five is called American Fiction. This movie won the Toronto International uh, Film Festival's People's Choice Award. Um, since 2008, 14 out of the 15 winners have gone on to score a Best Picture nomination. The last time um, it didn't um, go on the nominee for Best Picture was 2011's Where Do We Go Now? And that movie was released in 2012, uh, May of 2012, and that happened after the Oscars. Um, so if you look at American fiction, you'll see that it can be released everywhere in starting in de December. Um, and it's going to be a movie that MGM is going to be campaigning the heck out of. Um, also, I like it a lot because it has a social commentary about black uh, racial stereotypes in our society, especially in media and in uh, our literature. Um, Jeffrey Wright is getting absolutely amazing um, applause for his performance. My number six is going to be The Holdovers. Uh, this movie came in second place at the Toronto International Film Festival. Uh, um, and this, and I have a lot of confidence in the movie because uh, it's mainly because it's directed by a a Alexander Payne. Um, he has won two Oscars already for co writing Sideways and The D Descendants. Uh, three of his last four movies were nominated for Best Picture. And this is movie perceived to be one of his best, which is a pretty high compliment. Because he's done a lot of really highly acclaimed movies, um, like 
not only sideways in the sentence, but Nebraska, um, e election, um, and uh, I just think that this movie is, I'm pretty confident this movie's gonna um, get in. Uh, my number seven movie is Past Lives. This is this movie that's also received that like near perfect reception. Um, you know, audiences loved it, critics loved it. The only downside really is the fact that it was released er earlier in the year and there's a, a feeling that this might get forgotten about. It's also not the most like splashy movie of the year because the movies I've talked about has a lot of splash, a lot of, and this one does not really have that. Uh, but I still think it's gonna get in. My number eight is gonna be Maestro. And this is a biographical drama about the marriage between American composer Leonard Bernstein and his wife and um, the reviews have have been very good respectable very good solid respectable but they have not been as good as the other contenders mentioned that's sort of my only drawback here that's my, my only le my issue here but I have a lot of confidence in this movie uh, one because it's because uh, of uh, Bradley Cooper he, last time, he starred, directed, co-wrote, co-produced the movie, was A Star Is Born, and that movie got nominated for Best Picture. It got eight Oscar nominations. It won for Best Original Song. I feel like Cooper's, um, Cooper, once again, doing everything for this movie is going to help it. Other thing I like about it is that it's from Netflix. This is going to be Netflix is probably their main sort of their their main pony, and Netflix since twenty eighteen has gotten at least one best picture nominee in there, so that's why I have a lot of confidence in this movie. I don't think it's going to win best picture, but I think it's going to get in. Uh, finally, at number nine. I've got The Zone of Interest. This movie um, has gotten absolutely amazing reviews um, and it's got that importance factor going. This is about a German family during World War II. They live in a house next to a concentration camp. The father of the family is an SS um, Nazi German officer and so it has that sort of importance factor to it and the other reason I like it because this movie was submitted by the UK for the best international feature and we have seen a um, and we have seen a trend where at least one of the best picture nominees is a non-English language movie where the majority of the dialogue is not in English. And so I feel like a movie that's going to probably win Best best International Feature is probably going to be a strong contender for Best Picture. It's going to get into the Best Picture lineup here. And finally, my number 10 movie is, a, is, a, is, an, is, a, is, a, is Anatomy of a Fall. This movie won the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival or the Golden Palm or whatever you want to call it. And this is also not in English. It's not primarily in English. And I, I only put this 10th um, rather than 9th simply because France did not submit this for best, best um, international feature. They did the taste of others instead and I feel like that's kind of a little knock against it, but the reception of this movie has been absolutely outstanding. Sandra Holler's getting really good uh, praise is a movie that is really, really beloved. So those are my 10. Now, as far as who could potentially, that I really wanted to put in there, but I couldn't quite just yet. One is Air. I absolutely love this movie. So entertaining, so 
well directed, written, edited. Um, but it came out um, earlier in the year, and that sometimes that's works against it, especially if there are other you know contenders um, out there. Um, so I really hope it gets it in. Uh, yeah, but but I not quite confident yet. The other one is The Color Purple. This is actually based on three different sources, based on a musical, it's based on the 1985 movie The Color Purple, and it's based on a popular novel. And this is a movie that we're gonna see so many advertisements, it's gonna get, um, you know, a lot of people talking, but I am very skeptical, you know, that a movie that had not been screened at film festivals, you know, was not, has not been seen by anybody, and we're in October. I'm a little skeptical of its uh, thing, now, you know, that that's just me, but I think it might very well get in. But right now, they're on the um, honorable mention list. Now, when I say most likely to get nominated, I don't mean most likely to win, right? If you look at the current trend with the Academy, they go for the more smaller um, movies, the more independent movies, movies that are not seen as extremely long. Um, they, they don't go for movies that where the director had already won, won Oscars before. So I really think like Past Lives, um, American fiction, poor things like those, those to me tend to be the more of where the Academy is trending towards. But I just want to do a video with the most likely to get nominated, not most likely to win. But I think those three that I mentioned, um, I think have a very good shot at um, winning. But we will have to see. Next time, I'll be doing Best Actor. I'm going to give you my thoughts on the Best Actor race. I want to thank everybody for um, watching this. Uh, please comment below and what you think. Um, I'm a little um, under the weather. I just got my uh, COVID shot and I have a mild speech impediment. So don't don't get too nervous when you, when, it, when you see me repeating words. It's okay, everybody. But uh, those are my thoughts. Just let me know what you think. Take care.